Welcome everyone in another tutorial about C++ and CryEngine. This is part number two and today we're gonna create action maps. We're gonna uh, press the button on the keyboard or mouse and we actually do something with it inside of the engine. So to start off with it you have to go to newly created project. Obviously if you watched the previous uh, video then you can you probably already know uh, what this project is. This is third person project so um, Revealing Explorer and if you did not watch previous part I highly recommend you to do so and I'm not going to be explaining what I'm doing now because obviously you have to watch the previous part so you know everything so I don't have to explain everything you know five times okay once this project is opened let's wait for it to be ready Okay, uh, what we're gonna do today, we are going to um, create action map. So, we want to hit the button on the mouse or keyboard or whatever, and we want something to happen inside of the game world. So, in order to do that, you need to go into player, input, open both of these files. First of all, we're gonna need player input.h. Um, what these things are, this is this is just um, actual actions, declaration. Um, as you can see, you got on action move left. So when you press the A button, it's gonna go left. The right, um, W forward and S backward. This is a most uh, rotational value, you know, X and Y value. Uh, John Peach, and um, this is on action shot. So when you press the left mouse button, it's gonna shoot out something. So we're gonna create something like that. As you can see, they they are working with the buttons on the keyboard and mouse. So I should do. Um, what these uh, parameters are here? Entity ID. This is ID of the entity that is calling the action. Um, action ID. This is kind of a name of the action inside of the engine. They got their own IDs, every action. Um, activation mode is very important. You can call the action when the button is pressed, or maybe you want to call the action when it's released, or when, or maybe both, or maybe you want to keep calling the action when you are holding the button. This is everything down to activation mode. We're gonna get into that later. I will show you how to use it and how to define it in action maps. Uh, float value this is uh, it's not gonna be, we're not gonna use it now but it's important in the places like uh, mouse rotation it defines uh, you know the value of x and, and y um, axis or if you use pad it's probably gonna also take value of how much you know you're gonna move something around so we don't need this for our purpose First, what you need to do to create action, we're gonna declare action. Let's do my actions. You don't have to comment it like this, but it's always good to do so, so you can find your code easily. E all of them are boolean type of functions, which means they have to return boolean value uh, true or false. Otherwise, code will not compile, which I will show you on action and we're gonna call it my action right uh, and everything have to be the same like here cool we already declared our action as it says over here it's not defined so we're gonna go and define it now. We don't need this file anymore. Um, first of all, we need to create a handler, action handler. Each of them has to have one. And what is very important with the handlers, without it, action is not gonna work, that's obvious, but um, what is very important are these names here. Um, we're gonna use exactly these names later to map the action in the action maps to the button. Let's do also uh, my 
my actions um, action handler add handler and this is as I said this is very important so well, let's call it my underscore action you can do as well like my action or something but I'm gonna use it like this so uh, you have to type this underscore later and we have to find our action on action my action there you go okay that should do um, yeah there's no mistakes this is very important on action my action uh, it has to be exactly the action that we declare and define later and my action this is the name you have to remember but I will show you that later so we're gonna down here pull class applier input and on action my action yeah and it's gonna be the same parameters like in declaration of course Now we declare the action. As you can see, this is boolean um, a type of variable, so it has to return something true or false. As you see, all of these actions here they return value. All of them are true. It doesn't matter if you return true, true or false. Let's do true. But anyways, if you don't, then tr just take a look. I'm compiling the code now, and we will see that the action actually um, that the the whole code will not compile you can see the C player input class on action my action method must return a value so we're gonna do it now true as I said it doesn't matter see now it compiles without any errors succeeded cool but we don't really know how to call this action yet so we need to map it to the uh, particular button to do that you have to open back your your um, project uh, folder like before go into assets um, libraries config and default profile um, this is important as you can see, all these handlers got um, the these names over here are being also typed the same way over here. It's probably case sensitive, so follow the same way you type in here. It's move left, move left, move right, back, shot, and we wanna define also our new action, which is called my action. My underscore action. Notice that if I if I uh, write it like this, it's not gonna call this action. It's gonna be looking for my action without underscore. So we need exactly the same as it is here. Action. We want it to be called on press. If you do not write this, then it's not gonna be called on press, right? So we wanna call it on the release. Okay, and keyboard. Let's say J on the keyboard. That's that's gonna be fine. There's no button like this in here. And we're gonna save it. It's important to save this file. Um, keyboard. Don't be worried about it because even if you use the mouse buttons, it's gonna also refer to keyboard. So don't be worried about it. Even if you, as you can, as you can see, you got. Xbox pad and stuff and, and PS4 pad is also giving you keyboard so so even if you use mouse you have to type mouse 1 or mouse 2 or 3 or whatever um, we got J for this action keyboard everything seems to be fine 
so you can remove you can hide it and now when we press J this action will be called but you will see something now obviously we did not give this action any functionality yet and this is kind of important why is it important? it is because nothing will happen this action will be called trust me but it's it doesn't do anything so I press J and you will see that nothing happens I know I am explaining it like to children or something but you know as he said I've been through all that and I was wondering hmm why 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 isn't w isn't working and stuff like this so it's okay got compiled the wor game works if I press J you can't see it but I'm pressing it now see nothing happens in the console or in the right down corner no nothing okay we need to give this action some functionality um, we're gonna uh, show message in the console dialog always um, my action is called cool um, you don't have to build every time you can just press uh, the local windows debugger and it's gonna um, save the files and build the solution I mean compile the code and run the game in the end you see it's gonna compile it now and then run the game so you don't have to build it every time and I'm gonna do it like this from now okay now I'm gonna press J so look in the right down corner in here um, if if I press J and it's gonna show me not one message but two messages and I will show you and I will tell you why I just pressed and released it quickly it gave you my action is called and my action is called twice why is it twice uh, it's simply because our our um, action map says it's gonna call action on press and on release and when I pressed and released quickly button it called it twice on press and on release so we have to separate this right we need it to we need to know when it's pressed and when it's released so we give it um, if activation mode is um, and you ha you can you can see here when it's changed it's it's uh, it's activation mode when it's down when it's pressed and when it's released we want to to be pressed if the button is pressed then we're gonna show message in the console um, button pressed see now run the code and we will see what happens that this is okay just just wait, just wait for it here you got the console in right down corner so you can see what happens now I press J and released it and you can see it only once button pressed so every time I press and release it's gonna give you just one because activation mode it just it just uh, it just action pretty much works only on pressed what we want now we want also release this is just the flags you are using you see they are numbers only one or two or three but it's good to have them to use them like this if activation mode um, is released then cry log always button released it's hard for, for me to talk and write in English language obviously I'm I'm not that's not my you know mother tongue 
Um, okay, now I'm gonna press and hold it. It gives you button pressed, right? In right down the corner. Now I release it. It gives you a list. So you can see. If I push it and release it, it gives you two messages right away. Press, release, right? Cool. Our action works. So now we can put there everything. We can open the inventory on the on if you for example make action inventory call it inventory or something and give it I instead of J like usually it is with the inventories in the game and it's gonna open our inventory it's gonna it can close our inventory I'm gonna show you also one more thing very cool it gives us um, on hold um, one and and obviously always you have to save this file um, on hold in order to read that we activation mode we need down cry log always button down when you ho now when you when you hold this button down I mean J button it will constantly call this action I mean activation mode this if will be called all the time and it's gonna show a lot of messages in the console which you will see in a while let's try it out if it works Obviously, you don't have to have press and release and hold on every action. You can have only press if you want. So I'm just showing you more opportunities. Now I'm going to um, press J and hold it. You can see it's giving us constantly a lot of messages in the console. You can see it here. And in the end, I released it, so it's released. Well, if I go back to the top, which I'm probably not going to do because it's going to take a lot of time. It will give you on press, down, 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 and then on release. So I think you you already got that, how it works. So that's all for today. We got our action and our code executed. You can put whatever you want in here. It's going to be executed, trust me. So um, that's all for today. I mean, for this video, I might record something else today. I don't know, but um, yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do in the next video, but um, keep in touch and and um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas, guys, because I'm running out of them. Cool. Um, so see you. See you in the next video.